Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Premier League match week four. Saturday, because we still have Sunday to go, but I am going to do my match review for the Saturday games. So before anything, look at the table here. Arsenal still on top there with 12 points. Perfect start. Four out of four. Manchester City second, 10 point, Brighton 10 point, and the rest at the bottom, Everton 17, Wolves 18, Leicester City, as you can say here, only 1 point, 19, and West Ham United 0 point, 20. But everything here is going to change on Sunday because there are so many other games that need to be played. So... But one sure thing is that Arsenal are going to stay on top no matter what because they are the only team that got a perfect result so far. You know what I mean? Okay, my people. So what are we going to do now is to try to go a little bit on details. We're going to go a little bit on details here. Uh, and see what happened very quickly because we have so many games Southampton against uh, Manchester United 1-0 at the end wow man of the match Bruno Fernandes of course he scored a goal and that was enough for them to 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 see the game out but according to I think uh, Manchester United website uh Lisandro Martinez actually got the man of the match at the end. 1-0 is just what they needed. Casamiro played uh, some minutes. Cristiano Ronaldo played some minutes, but he was on the bench. So it looks like uh, they are trying really to get rid of Cristiano Ronaldo because I don't think he's going to just accept the role of sitting on the bench all the time. But that was more than enough, man. Fernandes... You say whatever you want. He scored the winner. And uh, I mean, I see United are coming slowly and surely. Lisandro Martinez. Wow. What a player. What a player. His size doesn't matter. <laughs> Everybody said how short he is in the Premier League. But now, for a couple games now, he's out of this world. So, I mean, I don't know. But uh, it was a very good game of football. I think... Uh, United, if they can get Anthony and they can add somebody else, we don't know who, uh, probably a new striker or something, they might be challenging for top four at no time at all because this is still the beginning of the season. So nobody needs to worry about anything. You just need to collect some bo uh, some um, some point here and there. So, yeah. Congratulations to United. Bradford against uh, against Everton. Man of the match, Anthony Gordon. Gordon, who is going to switch to the blue side of London very soon. It was good, but the problem I have with Frank Lampard is he can't see games out. Always concede some stupid goals. I don't know because of the personnel in the defense or just poor coaching in the defense. I don't understand how they could allow this goal to happen while they were comfortably winning 1-0. And then you let the uh, two point dropped just like that. Lampard hasn't won any game. I think only two draws so far. So they have to really be very careful because otherwise Lampard is going to be under a lot of pressure. You know what I mean? All right, let's move on very quickly. And let's talk about this game here. Brighton against Leeds United. 1-0 at the, at the end. Pascal Gross as the man of the match. He's a very, very good player. And uh, Pora, man. Pora is a very good coach. And he's continuing his success so far. I heard people talking about him taking the England job. I think he deserves it. He deserves it. What a coach. What a manager, man. So congratulations to Brighton because they are a very, very good team. 
Let's go. This one, Chelsea 2, Leicester City 0. Man of the match was Raheem Sterling, of course. Chelsea played for more than 65 minutes, 10 against 11, because the young uh, Conor Gallagher got a red card. I'm not going to say much about this game because I've already made an entire video about this game. So if you want, I'm going to leave the link in the description down below so you can click and watch what I said so I don't have to repeat myself. Congratulations to the Blues and uh, long might continue. Liverpool against Bournemouth. <laughs> Liverpool run riot here, my people. Look at that 9 9 0 at the end. This is frustration here, right? Because they haven't won any game until this one. So they were like, you know what? We're going to punish you. Look at this. I am even tired of reading who scored and who didn't score. <laughs> Man of the match. They haven't even voted to anything here on the website. But I don't know who. <laughs> Even Van Dyke scored. Fabino. Uh, no, uh, Firmino. I mean, yeah. No, Fabio, not Fabino. <laughs> Fabio. Oh, man. Even the Academy kid were scoring for fun. Um, no more Salah, though. But excellent game. I think uh, Liverpool are back, people. Liverpool are back in business. Nine. It's always a pleasure to see your team scoring so many goals. But, you know, Bournemouth, I predicted that uh, Liverpool were going to win. They were going to completely destroy them. But I didn't think it was going to be nine, though. So the confidence is back, people. People, uh, Next game, probably, Diaz is going to be back. Or oh, I don't know if he still has just one game suspension. But Liverpool, man... And Bournemouth, be careful because it looks like uh, you are going straight back to the championship. If you're going to continue this way, hmm, I feel sorry for them. All right, people, so let's go. Manchester City against uh, Crystal Palace. What a game. Patrick Vieira was leading 2-0. 2-0. And then Manchester City went back to win 4-2. That means character. Character. Erling Haaland. Of course, man of the match. Look at this dude. Okay? Man of the match. There's no doubt about it. He scored a hard trick. The first hard trick in the Premier League this season, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But he got the first hard trick in the league. Probably I'm wrong. I might be wrong about this one. But... Erling Haaland announced himself against the, against the Crystal Palace. And man, I don't know. Patrick Vieira, what is happening with uh, the mentality in your team? You're leading 2-0, brother. At least get a draw. But listen, when you have people like Haaland on his day like this, he was possessed. Bernardo Silva doing his thing. Oh my goodness me. That was another level of football. And um, they went back. Like last season, they were doing it often. Like going back from the losing position to winning. So you have to give them some credit here, my people. Give Manchester City and Pep Guardiola some credit here. And Arsenal, watch out. Watch out. All right. So the last, ga the last game we're going to talk in this video is going to be 2-1. For Arsenal against Fulham. Actually, they were losing 1-0. One, one and then also another comeback here from Arsenal. Odegaard and also Gabriel Magalhaes. You know what I mean? Mitrovic scored for Fulham. Man of the match still tied. People still voting by the time I am recording this video. So Arsenal, man, listen. Last season, after three games, they had zero point. They were at the bottom of the table. But this time, Burn Leno going back to the Emirates. He wasn't lucky at all because they conceded and they lost. So, yeah, you can say whatever you want, but it's still, it looks like um, 
Arsenal are gelling together and they are ready to fight for top four, even the title. Who knows? They might win it this season, people. We don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think this time Arsenal are going to do it. But listen, from next week, probably it's going to be two games in the week because of, you know, Europa League and all that. So that could change. But so far, so good for Arsenal. Perfect. You know, 12 out of 12. They are not conceding a lot of goals. I think they conceded few, maybe three or four. But hey, Arsenal, you have now to take them seriously this season. People, that was a pleasure for me to just kind of give you the highlight of what happened on Saturday. Tomorrow, we have more games. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday, of course, Aston Villa against uh, West Ham. And then... We're going to have Wolves against Newcastle United. Nottingham Forest against Tottenham Hotspurs for the last game of uh, the match week four. Leave your comment and let's keep the conversation going.